Jake Paul is one of YouTube's biggest stars. A little bit of shake and a bake, baby. His brand is to do outrageous stunts, often appearing to put himself and others in danger. What Pay is back. wrong Pay with back. you? Pay back. I could have actually died. And he's got millions of mostly young fans. Um, I'd say it's like eight years old to like 16 years old. Now, he's attracted the attention of fellow YouTuber Shane Dawson, who has an entirely different fan base. He's posted a series of documentary style videos that he says investigate whether Paul actually suffers from a mental disorder. And I wanna know like the psychology of a YouTuber. And he's using all the journalistic lingo. I, the last three years, I have been doing the most intensive research. I knew Shane, would be able to position it and like make it 100% real without any like bias. On the surface, it may seem like just another stunt, and it could be. Let's investigate Jake Paul. <laughs> but it's also racked up more than 75 million views in a week, mostly from their combined young fan base. I want to really be honest about it and investigate you and the situation. Is it investigative? Is it journalism? And what if millions of viewers think it is? Megan Farouk Manesh covers YouTube for the website The Verge. We've reached her in New York. Okay, Megan, I'm no fool. If something gets that many people watching it, I'm curious about it. But what is it? Is it investigative? Is it journalism? Is it a documentary? Is it just entertainment? I think it's actually kind of a little bit of all of the above. Um, I think that YouTube journalism is a little bit different from the journalism you and I know, but I think that it's this form of YouTube self-policing we've kind of seen. Shane especially is really good at this. Um, Jake Paul, I would say, is the biggest star he's you know done a docu-series on, but it's not the first time he's kind of gone behind the scenes. I think that with documentaries like Shane, we can't think of it as like a traditional documentary. It's not it's not like he's removed from his subject, right? It's more like reality TV. And so I think that he's offering kind of a lens for his viewers to, to look at Jake and to understand what's going on with his life. So it's more like personality media journalism, if that makes sense. But he's delving into some really serious stuff. I mean, he's trying to determine whether someone has a mental disorder. He's already been criticized online for you know using the word sociopath and then it bursts into flames and things like that and he said yeah okay maybe i haven't helped to sort of you know take stigma away from things and i'm thinking about all these young people who are watching i mean 75 million views do they think they're watching something that's put to the same kind of rigor that journalism is I think that's really tricky to say, right? I think it depends a lot on how much young people today are media literate. And that's something that we need to be aware of no matter what the platform. In the case of Shane, I think that the way he films and the way he inserts himself into things, I think that if you watch like a newscast, for example, you can definitely tell the difference. Are we being too precious about, you know, investigative and journalism? Because, you know, there is nobody in journalism that I'm aware of, certainly not me, who has 75 million people watching what they're doing. They're watching this. So are we supposed to be learning from them? I think, yeah, I think that there's a lot to be learned from, from us as journalists and from them as YouTubers, right? I think that currently journalists and YouTubers kind of have like a very adversarial relationship. And that's because I think we don't quite understand them and they, either don't quite understand us or to be frank like we all sort of paint them in the same brush like we consider every person who's a youtuber to be a jake paul and that's not true at all but i do think that the way the community is blowing up the way that you know shane dawson is presenting a truth that we wouldn't have access to otherwise is really important youtube doesn't really have anybody who's covering its issues or even the you know the issues surrounding jake paul and there are a lot of serious things to be talked about and so where do you think it goes from here? Because I, I think that's a really interesting point, that this is the first attempt that we've seen within the YouTube community to look seriously at a lot of the stuff that's being posted that gets unbelievable attention. See, I think that even that's not necessarily true, right? Because there have been other YouTubers who have done deep dives on Jake Paul, for example, and into the more serious implications of the work he does, like what you know kids are taking away from it, even his advertising and how he sells his merch and what that means. But I think with Shane, he's been on the platform for almost a decade now, and he has this sort of reach that, you know, like you mentioned, like you and I just don't. Like he's getting a lot of eyeballs more so than most other YouTubers who are doing this work. I think that Shane has a lot to learn, and I think that you know, this criticism he's gotten and he's been addressing at the start of every video is really helping him refine his process. But I think overall, 
he still has a lot to learn, but again, so do we. Good point. Thanks for talking about it. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.